Hi, I'm Ville, and I want to be better at English, and I want the same for you. Let's continue with the National Geography Reading Explorer 3. 2A. The Enigma of Beauty. The Enigma of Beauty. The search for beauty spans centuries and continents. The search for beauty spans centuries and continents. Paintings of Egyptians dating back over 4,000 years show both men and women painting their nails and wearing makeup. Paintings of Egyptians dating back over 4,000 years show both men and women painting their nails and wearing makeup. On the other side of the globe, the ancient Maya of Central America considered crossed eyes beautiful and hung little balls between children's eyes to develop this look. On the other side of the globe, the ancient Maya of Central America considered crossed eyes beautiful and hung little balls between children's eyes to develop this look. In 18th century France, wealthy noblemen wore large wigs of long white hair to make themselves attractive. In 18th century France, wealthy noblemen wore large wigs of long white hair to make themselves attractive. In cultures throughout the world, people have gone to extreme lengths to achieve the goal of beauty. In cultures throughout the world, people have gone to extreme lengths to achieve the goal of beauty. Today, people continue to devote a lot of time and money on their appearance. Today, People continue to devote a lot of time and money on their appearance. According to a recent report by the Nielsen Company, a global information and marketing corporation, according to recent report by the Nielsen Company, a global information and marketing corporation, one out of three consumers globally say they are spending more money today on beauty and healthcare products than ever before. One out of three consumers globally say they are spending more money today on beauty and health care products than ever before. Worldwide, sales of makeup, dieting, hair and skin care products, as well as gym memberships and cosmetic surgery, generate billions of dollars every year. Worldwide, sales of makeup, dieting, hair and skin care products as well as gym memberships and cosmetic surgery generate billions of dollars every year. And there is at least one good reason for the desire to be attractive. And there is at least one good reason for the desire to be attractive. Beauty is power. Beauty is power. Studies suggest that good-looking people make more money, get called on more often in class, and are perceived as friendlier. Studies suggest that good-looking people make more money, get called on more often in class, and are perceived as friendlier. But what exactly is beauty? But what exactly is beauty? Trying to define it is difficult. Trying to define it is difficult. And yet we know it when we see it, or so we think. And yet we know it when we see it, or so we think. Beauty is health, says one psychologist. Beauty is health, say one psychologist. It's a billboard saying, I'm healthy. I can pass on your genes. It's a billboard saying, I'm healthy. I can pass on my, your genes. And our awareness of it may start at a very early age. And our awareness of it may start at a very early age. In one set of studies, Six-month-old babies were shown a series of photographs. In one set of studies, six-month-old babies were shown a series of photographs. The faces in the pictures had been rated for attractiveness by a group of college students. The faces in the pictures had been rated for att attractiveness by a group of college students. In the studies, the babies spent more time looking at the attractive faces than the unattractive ones. In the studies, the babies spent more time looking at the attractive faces than the un unattractive ones. The idea that even babies judge appearance makes perfect sense to many researchers. The idea that even babies judge appearance makes perfect sense to many researchers.
In studies done by psychologists such as Victor Johnston at New Mexico State University and David Parrott at St. Andrews University in Scotland, in studies done by psychologists such as Victor Johnston at New Mexico State University and David Parrott at St. Andrews University in Scotland, men regularly showed a preference for women with certain features. Men regularly showed a preference for women with uh, certain features. Larger eyes, fuller lips, and a smaller nose and chin. Larger eyes, fuller lips, and a smaller nose and chin. Another study suggests that women prefer men with large shoulders and a narrow waist. Another study suggests that women prefer men with larger shoulders and a narrow waist. According to scientists, the mind unconsciously tells men and women that these traits According to scientists, the mind unconsciously tell, tells men and women that these traits the full lips, clear skin, strong shoulders, equal health and genetic well-being. The full lips, clear skin, st strong shoulders, equal health and genetic well-being. In other words, it's a fundamental part of human nature to look for these qualities in a mate. In other words, it's a fundamental part of human nature to look for these qualities in a mate. Not everyone agrees with this notion, however. Not everyone agrees with this notion, however. Our hardwiredness can be altered by all sorts of expectations. Our hardwiredness can be altered by all sorts of expe expectations. Predominantly cultural, says C. Loring Brace, an anthropologist at the University of Michigan, Predominantly cultural, says C. Loring Brace, an anthropolo anthropologist at the University of Michigan. What is considered attractive in one culture might not be in another. What is considered attractive in one culture might not be in another. Look in most Western fashion magazines, for example, and the women on the pages are thin. Look in most Western fashion magazines, for example, and the women on the pages are thin. Theme. But is this the perfect body type for women worldwide? But is this the perfect body type for women worldwide? Douglas Yu, a biologist from Great Britain, and Glenn Shepard, an anthropologist at the University of California at Berkeley, say no. Douglas Yu, a biologist from Great Britain, and Glenn Shepard, an anthropologist at the University of California at Berkeley, say no. What is considered beautiful is subjective and varies around the world. What is considered beautiful is subjective and varies around the world. You and Shepard found in one study, for example, that native peoples in southeast Peru preferred shapes regarded as overweight in Western cultures. You and Shepard found in one study, for example, that native peoples in south, south east, southeast Peru preferred shapes regarded as our weight in Western cultures. Take another example. In every culture, one's hairstyle sends a clear message. Take another example. In every culture, one's hairstyle sends a clear message. In the Huli culture of Papua New Guinea, an island nation north of Australia. In the Huli culture in Papua New Guinea, an island nation north of Australia, Men grow their hair long as a symbol of health and strength. Men grow their hair long as a symbol of health and strength. Teenage boys in this culture learn from a young age to style and decorate their hair. Teenage boys in this culture learn from a young age to style and decorate this hair. A behavior more commonly associated with the opposite gender in many cultures. A behavior more commonly associated with the opposite gender in many cultures. It is also the men, not women in this culture, who are the objects of beauty. It is also the men, not women, in this culture who are the objects of beauty. For certain festivals and celebrations, men dress up and paint their faces. For certain festivals and celebrations, men dress up and paint their faces. The more colorful a man is, the more masculine and attractive he is considered. The more colorful a man is, the more masculine and attractive he is considered. For better or worse, beauty plays a role in our lives. For better or worse, beauty plays a role 
in our lives. But it is extremely difficult to define exactly what makes one person attractive to another. But it's extremely difficult to define exactly what makes one person attractive to another. Although there do seem to be certain physical traits that are considered universally appealing, although there do seem to be certain physical traits that are considered universally appealing, it is also true that beauty does not always conform to a single uniform standard. It is also true that beauty does not always conform to a single uniform standard. A person's cultural background, for example, may influence what he or she finds attractive in others. A person's cultural background, for example, may influence what he or she finds attractive in others. In the end, beauty really is, as the saying goes, in the eye of the beholder. In the end, beauty really is, as the saying goes, in the eye of the beholder. All right. Let's check the difficult words. Appearance. 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 Suggest. 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 Suggests. 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 Unattractive. 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 All right. To be skin, the body's canvas. Skin, the body's canvas. If you took off your skin and laid it flat, it would cover an area of about 1.9 square meters, 21 square feet making it by far the body's largest organ. If you took off your skin and laid it flat, it would co cover an area of about um, 1.9 square meters, 21 square feet, making it by far the body's, body's largest organ. Covering almost the entire body, skin protects us from a variety of external forces. Covering almost the entire body, skin protects us from a war variety of external forces. Such as extremes of temperature, damaging sunlight, harmful chemicals and dangerous infections. Such as extreme of temper temperature, damaging sunlight, harmful chemicals and dangerous infections. Skin is also packed with nerves, which keeps the brain in touch with the outside world. Skin is also packed with nerves, which keeps the brain in touch with the outside world. The health of our skin and its ability to perform its protective functions are crucial to our well-being. The health of our skin and its ability to perform its protective functions are crucial to our well-being. However, the appearance of our skin is equally, if not more, important to many people on this planet. However, the appearance of our skin is equally, if not more, important to many people on this planet. Take skin color, for example. Take skin color, color for example. Your genes determine your skin's color, but for centuries humans have tried to lighten or darken their skin in an attempt to be more attractive. Your genes determine your skin's color. But for centuries, humans have tried to lighten or darken their skin in an attempt to be more att attractive. In the 1800s, white skin was desirable for many Europeans. In the 1800s, white skin was uh, desirable for many Europeans.
Skin this color meant that its owner was a member of the upper class and did not have to work in the sun. Skin this color meant that its, its owner was a member of the upper class and did not have to work in the sun. Among darker skinned people in some parts of the world, products used to lighten skin are still popular today. Among darker skinned people in some parts of the world, products used to lighten skin are still popular today. In other cultures during the 20th century, as cities grew and work moved indoors, attitudes towards light skin shifted in the opposite direction. In other cultures during the 20th century, as cities grew and work moved indoors, attitudes towards light skin shifted in the opposite direction. Tan skin began to indicate leisure time and health. Tan skin began to indicate leisure time and health. In many places today, sun tanning on the beach or in a salon remains popular. In many places today, sun tanning on the beach or in a saloon remains popular. Even though people are more aware of the dangers of UV rays. Even though people are more aware of the danger of UV rays. Just as people have altered their skin's color to denote wealth and beauty. Just as people have altered their skin's color to denote wealth and beauty. So too have cultures around the globe marked their skin to indicate cultural identity or community status. So too have cultures around the globe marked their skin to indicate cultural identity or community status. Tattooing, for example, has been carried out for thousands of years. Tattooing, for example, has been carried out over thousands of, thousands of years. Leaders in places including ancient Egypt, Britain and Peru wore tattoos to mark their status or their bravery. Leaders in places including ancient Egypt, Britain and Peru wore tattoos to mark their status or their bravery. Today, among the Maori people of New Zealand, as well as in cultures in Samoa, Tahiti and Borneo, Today, among the Maori people of New Zealand, as well as in cultures in Samoa, Tahiti and Borneo, full facial tattoos called moko are still used to identify the wearer as a member of a certain family and to symbolize the person's achievements in life. Full facial tattoos called moko are still used to inf in identify the wearer as a member of a certain family and to symbolize the person's achievements in life. In Japan, tattooing has been practiced since around the 5th century BC. In Japan, tattooing has been practiced since around the 5th century BC. The government made tattooing illegal in 1870. And though there are no laws against it today, the government made tattooing illegal in 1870, and though there are no laws against it today, tattoos are still strongly associated with criminals. Tattoos are still still strongly associated with criminals, particularly the yakuza or the Japanese mafia, who are known for their full-body tattoos. Particularly the yakuza or the Japanese mafia, who are known for their full-body tattoos. The complex design of a Yakuza member's tattoo usually includes symbols of character traits that the wearer wants to have. The complex design of Yakuza member's tattoo usually includes symbols of character trait that traits that the wearer wants to have. The process of getting a full body tattoo is both slow and painful and can take up to two years to complete. The process of getting a full body tattoo is both slow and painful and can take up to two years to complete. In some cultures, scarring, a marking caused by cutting or burning the skin, is practiced. In some cultures, scarring, a marking caused by cutting and bur or burning the skin. Usually among people who have darker skin, on which a tattoo would be difficult to see, is practiced usually among people who have darker skin on which a tattoo would be difficult to see. 
For many men in West Africa, for instance, scarring is a rite of passage. For many men in West Africa, for instance, scarring is a rite of passage. An act that symbolizes that a male has matured from a child into an adult. An act that symbolizes that a male has matured from a child into an adult. In Australia, among some native peoples, cuts are made on the skin of both men and women when they reach 16 or 17. In Australia, among some native peoples, cuts are made on the skin of both men and women when they reach 16 or 17. Without these scars, members were traditionally not permitted to trade, sing ceremonial songs, or participate in other activities. Without these scars, members were traditionally not permitted to trade, sing ceremonial songs, or participate in other activities. Not all skin markings are permanent, though. Not all skin markings are permanent, though. In countries such as Morocco and India, Women decorate their skin with colorful henna designs for celebrations. In countries such as Morocco and India, women decorate their skin with a colorful henna designs for celebra celebrations such as wedding, weddings, such as weddings and important religious holidays. And important religious holidays. The henna coloring, which comes from a plant, fades and disappears over time. The henna coloring, which comes from a plant, fades and disappears over time. In recent years, in many industrialized nations, tattooing, henna body art, and, to a lesser degree, scarring, have been gaining in popularity. In recent years, in many industrialized uh, nations, tattooing, henna body art, and, to a lesser degree, scarring have been Chaining a popularity. Wait a second. Industrialized. 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 In recent years, in many industrialized nations. Industrialized. Industrialized nations. What makes these practices appealing to those living in modern cities? What makes these practices appealing to those living in modern cities? According to photographer Chris Rainier, whose book Ancient Marks examines body markings around the globe. According to photographer Chris Rainier, whose book Ancient Marks examines body markings around the globe. People are looking for a connection with the traditional world. People are looking for a connection with the traditional world. There is a whole sector of modern society, people in search of identity, people in search of meaning, says Renier. There is a whole sector of modern society, people in search of identity, people in search of meaning, says Renier. Hence, there has been a huge explosion of tattooing and body marking. Hence, there's been a, it has been a huge explosion of tattooing and body marking. It's mankind wanting identity, wanting a sense of place, and a sense of culture within their community. It's mankind wanting identity, wanting a sense of place, and a sense of culture within their community. Industrialized. Industrialized. All right, that's all for today. Let's continue next time.